Hey guys, Nate, the Otter Outdoorsman. Um, I just went out for a quick hike, uh, just a quick private hike to get some materials. I'm gonna start doing a, getting ready to do a bow drill. I'm gonna set it up. Let's get started. So I've been working on getting some nice fine fibers for this bow drill, um, but I ended up, I found out I ended up using a lot of my good fibery stuff on previous videos. So what I'm actually going to try and do is break down a lot of this. Let's see if I can grind it down between two stones. It's actually working. Wow, that is actually, that was a smart move my, on my part. What I'm actually going to do, I have this in, So I'm just trying to get these broken down and using the rock technique is actually rocking. Apologize about that pun. But at the same time I don't. I love puns.
And I won't make you guys watch this entire thing of me making a Tinder bundle. So, um, you've seen it before. So, I'll see you in the next step. Okay guys, you're gonna see me do something I do not like to do. You're gonna see me baton. This is my first time batoning, especially with this knife. But I was told this knife can take it. This is white pine. Hopefully, have this in frame. Also because I wasn't patonning the right area. Handled. Man, this knife can take a beating. Now, why am I not using a bigger log? First off, this isn't how most of the pine I find comes in size. So I'm using what I would normally find for dead standing. I'm using what I find in my environment. Taking it like a champ.
you know what? I like this side better. Just looking for a natural split. Yeah, that is more of the split that I wanted. I got my handhold, hardboard done. Now for the spindle. Same thing, white pine. I really just grabbed what I could.
thing is, this side has an end, so I'm going to have to use it as where I'm going to be using my hand hold. Now the reality of the situation is I can't practice this out in the bush. I wish I could, but because of the area I live in, I can get out in the woods to enjoy it, but I can't get out there to practice. If I had my own plot of land, I would. A heartbeat. When the unfortunate thing is, I can't. One of these days. But I also prefer to practice at home for one reason. If I mess up, doesn't mean life or death for me. All it means to me is that I don't succeed. Next time, probably choose my woods differently. In fact, I may get my spindle something else. There's a crack. I don't like that. What news? I'm gonna get a different spindle. Hold on a second. So I got a piece of sassafras here. I don't think this is gonna make the best spindle in the world, but it smells good. It smells really good. Now, I have sassafras in my yard. This is from one I cut down last year. So. I may break this into two videos. Building the bow set, I actually get it going. A little bit of moisture in it. Yeah, I like this piece a lot better. Now, sassafras isn't an abnormal plant for me in this area. Sassafras is actually very, very common around here. So. After batoning. Sharp as ever.
I have a song spur where they just sing his art out. I hope this is getting on frame. Heck, I hope this is staying on the camera. I've been trying to film uh, my pack. And I filmed, I filmed that twice. And it didn't stay on the camera. Hands get numb from carving. Oh, they do with a knife. That actually just has to do with my carp. I have carpal tunnel uh, from years ago with drumming. So good. Love sass for us. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm using my saw just to expedite certain processes, I would, just because my arm is getting ah, tired. Spindle. Hearthboard. Bearing block. So let's start over here.
Now, I don't know how to make these divots. I will admit that. This is my first bow drill without any assistance, no instructions other than what folks have told me, what I've seen in videos, and what I've read in books. Will I get ember with this? I don't know. But I'm showing this either way so that you see my failures, you see my successes, and we learn together. I'm gonna go make a bow off camera, and I'll see you guys in the next video.